Okay, well this photograph is basically a picture of me doing an experiment or re getting results from an experiment in our new science lab, which um, has only just been opened and I was showcasing it to some officials, so we took a photograph. And um, it was back in 1974 when I was a teenager at school in South London. Peckham Manor, actually. Um, I would be f 14. 14. And then that kind of ignited an interest in science, because did you go on to be... Yeah, yeah I, um, my, my, a bit of a failure here. My, my interest in science back then was just a, an interest. Um, but if I, I, when I came to choosing a career, I, I, I looked at becoming a dentist not and having three sciences was part of the route to getting into university to do dentistry but best laid plans it didn't happen I ended up doing a degree in chemistry yeah. after V6 <laughs> so I've done the degree in chemistry instead and and kept my science going um, my interest is there with astronomy and, and so on um, but career-wise, I, I um, went into computing because computing was the, all the rage back then. And um, having a science degree with knowledge of computing was, was the best combination for me at the time. So I didn't actually become a chemist or a dentist. I became a computer specialist. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Excellent. Um, and so where did you go to university? Um, I went to Huddersfield at first, and then I did a postgrad at Kingston University. Yeah, did you enjoy it? Oh yeah, really, really. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed the subject. You know, yeah, it was the best thing. Yeah, and so the other day you were in the Arthur Shed doing astronomy. So what were you building there? Um, well, it's called a spect which basically looks at uh, light and um, looks at sunlight and turns it and, um, and splits it into its component parts, which are the colours of the rainbow, which is a, the cr of its crudest form. In it, its um, its use in, in real real life applications is to figure out what elements are in a light source so if it's a light source being the sun you could figure out what's in there uh, what what uh, elements make up the light source uh, make up the sun from the light source because you'll see absorption lines in the spectrum yeah, yeah. so <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no I'm, I'm not sure i completely understand yeah. that but i understand um that I saw the results of the, yeah, the rainbow. I yeah. thought that was really... Well, yeah, that, that's it. So you, yeah. you've got normal light, you just see light. But if, if we split it up into its component parts, you'll see the colours of the rainbow. Which yeah. Is light at different, at various, at specific wavelengths. So red would have a different wavelength to blue and to yellow and to green. And so they're all individual lights. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, as I say, I saw the end result, but I'm not sure I completely understand how I get there. But, yeah. So, have you passed down your interest in science to your children, or...? Uh, no, nobody's interested. No? <laughs> <laughs> how old are they now? Our children are now 33 and 29. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so uh, the, the 33-year-old... Is more, more into marketing and uh, the arts, basically. Yeah. And my son, who's the younger one, is into he's a fabrication welder, so he's into uh, making things with his hands. Okay. Yeah, lovely. So, when you come to the hospice or living well service, what is it that you like about it? Um. Well. At first, when living when, when I was first diagnosed, and my health was uh, on a 
knife edge kind of thing, and my, my um, morale was low, my, my um, esteem was low. Um, I found it difficult to to uh, be cheerful about my day and so on, uh, and I and I found myself isolated. And, and um, Arthur Rank has fixed all that. Okay. So yeah. that's why I enjoy that again. Brilliant. I'm, I'm now a lot better now. My, my outlook looks good. Um, and my, um, my morale is good and everything else. Yeah, excellent. So what would you say to someone else who is in your position if they got the opportunity to come? Um, I'd say give it a go. It's probably not for everyone, but if you find yourself isolated and... Um, and need some company or, or some, something positive to, to do or think about or to be part of, um, you wouldn't go wrong with coming to Arthur Rank. Mm -hmm. There are people who are, who are in, your sim in your situation or similar, they will be there to, to welcome you. Mm -hmm.